Hi, Emmy here. I thought I would share with you a little bit from my intuitive development book. Chapter one, what is intuition? Intuition is the ability to perceive or know things without conscious reasoning, according to Webster's New World College Dictionary. I think it's much more than that, but that's one definition. Have you ever had a gut feeling, a hunch, or an inner knowing about something happening in your life, but you couldn't explain your impressions in rational terms? Chances are it was your intuition communicating with you. Our thinking, judging, worrying, and analytical, rational minds tend to dominate us. But there is another way of knowing that is always trying to get your attention always trying to help you be more completely you. This book will help you listen to your intuition if you can answer yes to any of these questions. Do you want help making the best decisions that will lead to more fulfillment and greater happiness in your life? Do you want to have a clearer picture about why you are here, how to fulfill your life purpose, or how to bring your special gifts to the world? Do you want to be more satisfied and improve the areas of your life related to health, work or career, family, relationship, finances or abundance or spirituality? Do you wish there was some wise being who could tell you the best choices to make? Do you want to find meaning, purpose or a deeper understanding about why you had certain experiences? and how to move forward in positive ways? Do you want to learn how to connect to, listen to, and trust your intuition that is always there to guide you in all aspects of your life? Do you want to feel more peaceful and joyful? Intuition is a beautiful part of us that is always there, our inner knowing or inner wisdom. It may be thought of as an aspect of cognition. However, it is not solely a mental process. In fact, It is beyond or different from rational and logical thinking. Consider it as a complex set of interrelated cognitive or mind, affective or emotion, and somatic or body processes where there is no apparent intrusion of deliberate rational thought. It may be a way to receive the most accurate information. And I'm just gonna skip forward a little bit more here. This great tool often goes underutilized, though it is a legitimate subject of scientific inquiry with important ramifications. Uses of intuition have been applied to educational, personal, medical, and organizational decision-making, as well as to personnel selection and assessment, team dynamics, training, and organizational development. Someday, we may see intuition classes taught in schools and universities just as logic classes are taught. It is just important to develop and has its own unique perspective and many benefits, meaning it's just as important to develop as your logic. There is no need to have any particular spiritual or religious leaning to explore and develop your intuition, although some find this helpful and it may enhance your beliefs. Intuition will consistently give you the guidance that you need at a particular time. After doing practices that will increase your confidence in listening to your intuition, you will likely discover that it is honest and correct, even if it doesn't always yield the answer you think you want. New creative solutions may come forward and be applied in your life, displacing knee-jerk habits or patterns that may not be healthy or constructive. These new solutions will align with your core values, providing moment-to-moment guidance and empowering heart-based living. That is, reliance in all things on the wisdom, intelligence, and qualities of the heart. One of the best ways to listen to your intuition is to quiet the mind, and there are many ways to do that. And a classic way, of course, is meditation. But really, any activity that you enjoy that helps you not think about the past or the future, that helps you to come into the present moment, that could be doing any type of leisure activity, it could be going for a walk, it could be being out in nature. If you're not able to be out in nature, it could be imagining that you're in nature. 
Uh, in fact, one of the great ways that I've helped people connect with their intuition is to use guided imagery and to use your all of the qualities of your felt sense, your imagination, and your thoughts and emotions, and all of those senses beyond the five senses to connect within. And so I hope you do um, check out my book. If not, I do have free resources on my YouTube channel as well. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for listening.